Welcome back, survivors. The Star Z here. And we are back in Subnautica. And there's a stupid, poopy pants Leviathan. Yep, stupid, poopy pants. You just stay down there, Mr. Poopy Pants. So, anyway, we got the Sea Moth. We got it loaded up with goodies. Where is the entrance that I need over here? There it is down here. Cool. So we resupplied ourselves. I got plenty of food. Well, I say plenty of food. I got enough food. With the survival knife automatic cookie thing, whatever you call it. Uh, we're pretty good there. And with the Cyclops' uh, fabricator, we can make all the food we need. So food's not too high priority. But those are. And those are. And we got all that. So we're going to have to make two trips. But we do got stuff. We brought two purple tablets. I got enough uh, enough ion cubes and diamonds to make two more of either color. So I wanted to bring that just in case they threw threw something in and were like, "Hey, you need a uh, orange tablet or you know whatever." I think. What do we got now? We got purple and orange is the two tablets that we ended up getting. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Alright, now where is that gateway room? Have I, like, completely passed it? I think I have. Pretty sure I have. Pretty sure it's down there by the by the thing because I remember not coming up quite so high we'll find it we will find it it might take us a second because I don't know the layout of this base like uber well but you know okay there's no things over there Seamalt is that way oh I bet you it's over here haha -ha. Okay, so we don't have to go up at all. Which is awesome. Come on. World's longest teleporting scene. You know, it almost makes me wonder from the look of it. Are we actually teleporting or are we traveling through one of those little power cable things when we go through there? Not completely sure. Lava lizard egg discovered. So that that is what that was. Okay. So now we got to make it back to the ship, which I believe we go through here. And then we got to go up then this way? Yes, this way. Haha, -ha, awesome. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to consume one of those just to top off. Let's start putting these away. I'll keep I'll keep two waters on it well let me go ahead and drink that one okay we're good there if stuff would stop attacking me that'd be like really really awesome right now uh,
that should be enough room to get all of the stuff back. Sea Dragon, whatever the thing he is, would just go away. Super, super colossal squid monster. Alright, now let's go through the extremely long teleport process once again. I mean, they could at least put some elevator music in here or something. Ooh, what... I'm not sure what our dude did with his hand there, but it didn't look right. Did not look right. But, like I said, on the bright side, we do have quick teleport access back and forth now, so it's not as bad. Okay, we got all that. Let me go put this away. I'm not sure what our dude does with his hand whenever that happens, but it looks kind of freaky. Kind of freaky. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Come out here. We go this way. We come up. I messed up. Where, where are you? Hold on. Looking for my symbols there. Prawn suit this way. Haha, there it is. We found it. Oh, it bit me. Stupid little thing. Alright, let's go ahead and unload those ion cubes, these diamonds. Go ahead and put this bleach away. Okay. Now I want to check on our power status. He's still up here, isn't he? 39%. Okay. So our power is building, I believe. we left it was like at 32 so it is going up slightly we just we're just covered in those stupid leeches yeah they're just draining our energy it's ridiculous Okay, I don't see big and ugly right now. So let me see if I can't knock a couple of these leeches off. Yep. So I'm feeling a little bit better now since Oh, there's big and ugly. Okay, I lied. I lied. Oh, I hope that didn't damage the ship. Okay, so big and ugly did see me. The good thing is that big and ugly 
is kind of slow. I mean, I think he's slow. He acts like he's slow. I don't know. It's going to be one crazy ride trying to get out of here. I know that much. Okay, we do have our tablets. Good. Good, good, good. All right, where is our door, teleporter, portal, force field barrier thing? Here we go. Right here. All right. You open up. What do we have in here? Oh, look. A blue tablet. Blueprint. And, the, and that's the reason why we brought extras, extra stuff to build with, just in case. Now, I thought I needed two tablets here. What is going on? Is there, there has to be something lower. Let me go check again. Aha, there is another one. Good. This room looks dangerous, so I'm going to save. And then I'm going to double save, just because I like to make sure it actually saves proper. Do I... I don't know if I just walk through here or not. Data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Cool. What's that noise? Synthesizing ion PDA power data. blueprints from alien data. Synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Ion power? Did we just find something like super awesome? Integrating new PDA data. Okay. What is over here? Nothing. Okay, now that it's quiet, let's take a look at our PDA. Actually, inventory. We got our blue tablet. Blueprints. Let's see this ion battery. Ooh. I have a couple ion uh, cubes. That is going to be awesome. We're going to have ion power to the max. I wonder if it's stronger. It has to be stronger. I mean, look at it. It's all like nuclear radiation style, all glowy looking. Is that all we got? Blue tablet. Ion cube in kyanite to make a blue tablet which that takes diamond okay so that's diamond that's diamond and this is kyanite so i wonder oh i hope i don't have to get any of that stuff if i have to make one okay nothing in there let's check our data bank data downloads we got seven of them uh, scan data. Alien robot. Device does not match any known human technology. Although its design is relatively simple, its only observed behavior has been attacking local life forms in a radius around the ancient alien structure. Features few moving parts. Carries a rechargeable ion-based power reserve. Reliable and energy efficient. Modeling the age and purpose of the device is difficult. Its relative 
harmlessness is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers. Okay. Thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into the electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in a battery-like device within the plant itself, each of which holds enough to power a small city for a year. Some of, however, is being drained off, presumably at its distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Okay, so if it's uninterruptible, how am I going to get out of here because we can't shut the power down to that stupid thing? Okay, we got fossil data. Uh, let's see, terminal contains fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct this facility. It has been possible to extrapolate, extrapolate and, uh, a number of key trends. Stupid big words. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. Life forms on record feature an unusual low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B. Extinction event soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains from the soil average. Data supports a mass extin extinction event killing off a majority of the species and forcing rapid adaptation against many of the survivors. Ion power, the yellow, yellow terminal installed above the alien power plant seems to be some kind of network hub for the entire alien power grid. The data is too complex to meaningfully translate. However, it's been possible to extract useful information regarding the alien ion cubes. These cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within by installing an ion cube in an appropriate device this energy can be released as electrical power using this knowledge it has been possible to synthesize new battery and new power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer that's awesome primary containment facility power transfer this terminal appears to function as some kind of power router distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Quarantine enforcement platform 35%. Self warping quarantine enforcement units 15%. Primary containment facility 50%. There is no clear way to interrupt the power flow. However, the information available makes it possible to calculate more precise locational information for the primary alien facility. Primary containment facility location updated, constructed within a nat natural chasm. Connected to this cave network, south southeast, area of volcanic activity, depth 1.4. Okay, so we gotta go south southeast from here, and we gotta drop in depth. I wonder. That cave we found at the very beginning that dropped down to that depth with that other Leviathan in there. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. All right, let's check out LifePod 4 crew log real quick. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. All right, so decoy lifetime is a thing. What do we got here? Pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, 
Why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Alright. Marguerite is greedy. I guess Marguerite and Maida are the same person, I'm guessing, at this point. So. We cannot interrupt the power flow here. At all. <sighs> okay. So I'm not sure what we can do. I guess we have to go to that other alien facility. Uh... You know, I'm almost tempted to bring the prawn suit in here and see if I can drill it. The only problem is, is I don't know if I can get the prawn suit back out. Because the prawn suit doesn't swim. Let me double check around this thing. Make sure there's no other special little doodads. Nothing like that. No. Okay. I didn't think so, but I wanted to double check. There is that kyanite crystal. See, that makes me think because it's in here that I should be able to get the prawn suit in. But I don't know if the prawn suit is... That almost looked like a face right there. If the prawn suit is um, strong enough to withstand the lava, that's my issue. Get away from me. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. All right, so we are here, we are good. Let me get a couple of these little waters. And let me eat one of those. Good, 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 good. All right, so here is the question. Um. Oh, what in the world? That's why he keeps attacking the sub. He's eating those things. Okay. First, we... There he is. <sighs> what is he doing? Oh, he's gonna hit us. Where'd Big Ugly go? Oh, there he is. Quit it. You cannot do that. This is a submarine. I am not an alien life form for you to have your way with. Let me be. I don't know how to get out of here, guys. The second I power up, I have a feeling he is going to attack us. What is our power at? We are at 89% power. Okay, so we're not doing too bad here. We are powering back up. It seems like we only have two of those uh, leeches on us, which is good. That will help our power come back. I need to get the other two leeches off of us. There's one right there. I just don't know if we can power up with him there, guys. That's my problem. I mean, he's big enough. He'll mess us up. So, if we do this, I want to be at 100% power before I ever fire up these engines. Because if he hits us, I'm going to have to throw on the shield. And we're going to have to move. Let's see, what direction? Don't hit me. 
Okay, we are facing north northwest, so we basically need to go straight back from here. Okay. Ooh, there's one of those dudes inside my ship again. I don't think I heard it. We do have a decoy launcher. I do. Don't I have decoys still? I have one other than the one that we have. What does it take to... That's the decoy tube. I don't know if I can make the decoys here. That might have been a mistake on our part. Let's see. No, I can. I just need titanium and a wiring kit, which I don't have silver. Yeah, I have very few. Got lithium. I got a silver. Oh, I had ion cubes on here? No, oh, wait, 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 wait. What is... Oh, that's nickel. Uh. Would y'all quit attacking me? Trying to think here, guys. I am trying to think. We are almost at a hundred percent. So, really, yeah, it's just that one battery. <sighs> okay, so I can either I can either pull out. is big and ugly. Who is he gone? He might have left. This might be the time to leave, guys. Well, either way, I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.